What does your baby and a barbell or kettlebell have in common? You might not think about it a lot, but actually how you pick them up off the floor does, right? If I walk to a barbell, we have a movement called a barbell clean, where I can take the barbell from the floor, bring it up to my chest, and bring it back down to the floor. Same similar motion happens with a kettlebell. If I take the kettlebell from the floor, bring it up using my hips to bring it up to my chest. The same way one might actually pick a child up and bring the baby up to your chest and to your shoulders. So it's important that we have good fundamental movement patterns. A lot of times gym exercises like the clean or the kettlebell clean get bad reputations. They're unhealthy, they're non-functional. However, they are completely functional. It's the same exact body mechanics. However, they're done at a different intensity. Whether we're picking our baby up off the floor, come here little one, ah, huh, and getting them onto your shoulder, or we're picking the kettlebell up, huh, and getting it onto my shoulder. The same movement pattern is involved in keeping the, the body nice and taut, midline in, Tense to the belly, chest up tall, using the hips to get energy to bring the weight up to my chest. Whether it's a barbell, a kettlebell, or your toddler, movement skills are important. Remember, the needs of your grandmother and an Olympian differ not by type, but intensity. An Olympian may need to do this with three, 400 pounds on a barbell. However, you being home, you should be able to pick your groceries up off the floor, pick up a bag of mulch, and put it into the trunk of your car and be able to lift it up effectively and safely regardless of your health and well-being by using proper mechanics and strengthening your weaknesses to overcome the adversities and limitations you may have.